I'm going to show you how to hack a Wii with 4.0 firmware on it with no homebrew or anything. Just done about 30 seconds ago as you can see the icons on the dashboard there. Um, you want to get the packs from postprojects.com and follow the guide. First thing I'm going to do is go into data management, channels, and SD card, and it's not pushed in yet. Push it in. It's going to take it a second, and it should ask us to load the boot.dol file. Say yes. Okay, now we are presented with the load me. Just hit A. And you want to go down to the iOS, I'm sorry, you want to go down to the downgrader, iOS 35, and hit A. Okay, and it says run first. This hit A there. Kind of let it do its thing. And when it's done, it's going to bring you back to the load me screen that we were just at. Alright, after that's done, just go back down to exit. And you go back to the load me menu, just hit A again. And this time you want to go down to the WAD manager, 1.4.dole file, and hit A. Okay, and now we're in the WAD manager. Just hit A. And here, just make sure it says iOS 2.49. And hit A. And then, of course, SD card, hit A again. And this time we're going to install the iOS 35.wad file. So just hit A a couple times, and it'll start installing. And when this is done installing, you're going to exit the WAD manager by hitting the home page. So you just hit home, it's going to restart. It goes back to load me again. And then we're just going to go hit A again. Alright, after that's done, just go back down to exit. And you go back to the load me menu, just hit A again. And this time you want to go down to the WAD manager, 1.4.dole file, and hit A. Okay, and now we're in the WAD manager. Just hit A, and here just make sure it says iOS 2.49, and hit A. And then of course SD card, hit A again. And this time we're going to install the iOS 35.wad file. So just hit A a couple times and it'll start installing. And when this is done installing, you're going to exit the WAD manager by hitting the home page. So you just hit home, it's going to restart. It goes back to load me again. And then we're just going to go hit A again. Okay, now I'm back in the WAD manager. If you get a dump error, uh, just restart your Wii and just start where you left off. Um, it happened to me earlier, but everything's fine so uh, you're gonna hit A here and instead of iOS 249 this is where people get confused you gotta hit over until you get to the iOS 35 so see how I changed that um, you just hit over on a control pad tell it that's the one you want to use iOS 25 and hit A if you don't do that you're gonna get an error on the CIOS install and that's what we're gonna do you chose iOS uh, 35, go down to CIOS v7.wad and hit A. Hit A again for it to install. And I've already got it installed, that's why I've got an. Okay. Now I'm back in the WAD manager. If you get a dump error, uh, just restart your Wii and just start where you left off. Um, that happened to me earlier, but everything's fine. So. Uh, you're going to hit A here, and instead of iOS 249, this is where people get confused, you got to hit over until you get to the iOS 35. So see how I changed that? 
Um, you just hit over on a control pad, tell it that's the one you want to use, iOS 25, and hit A. If you don't do that, you're going to get an error on the CIOS install. And that's what we're going to do. You chose iOS uh, 35, go down to CIOS v7.wad and hit A. Hit A again for it to install. And I've already got it installed, that's why I've got an okay. Okay, like I said, uh, I got an error on the CIOS V7 install only because I already have it installed. Um, but you will get an error again if you don't choose iOS 35 in the beginning uh, right before you install that. So make sure you do that. Um, now, you hit after that, you just hit the home key to go back to the boot me, uh, the load me menu and choose the WAD uh, manager again. So just hit A. And then this time, we are going to make sure it is the default, which is iOS 249. And we're going to hit A. And hit A again for the SD. And now this time, uh, you can stay in the WAD manager. Uh, the order I installed these in were iOS 36. And after that, I installed BUL 3G and then the homebrew which is the HBC wad. I'm not going to install those again because it's just going to give me an error. Um, after you're done uh, again just hit the home key and reboot and at this point uh, you will have the backup launcher channel and the uh, homebrew channel installed on your menu which is what I just showed you. After that is done, make sure you extract the Pope's pack uh, to the either the same SD card or a different one. You can't have all the files in the same one, so make sure you format it and start that from scratch.